Howdy y'all, Aaron here. I hope you're doing well. Ever wondered, have you ever wondered if TikTok ads would work for your business? In this episode, I'm gonna be sharing with you a proven TikTok ad strategy you can implement today. As always, make sure that you grab something to take notes with and stick around until the end where I'm gonna be sharing with you one type of ad you must be using for your clothing store. For those who are new, I wanted to tell you that I like to break down what we're gonna be talking about into lists because it's much easier for you to understand and follow along. So in this video, I'm gonna be giving you four steps to successfully start running TikTok ad campaigns for your clothing store. All right, so number one is what is TikTok and how is it different? TikTok is a vertical video social media platform that focuses on highly engaging content. What makes TikTok so different is their ability to keep people on the platform addicted within an algorithm that is extremely accurate. By comparison, if you engage with content on Instagram, you may or may not see something similar for a while. But on TikTok, they do such a great job of helping you find the content you're likely to engage with again. The platform used to be focused on short form content only, but as they continue to grow, videos are getting longer and longer. TikTok is a main competitor for someone like Instagram, but even more notably now, YouTube. Content creators are using TikTok content to tell quicker, more engaging content than what they used to do on something like YouTube. We're seeing more and more people go search for solutions on TikTok than what they did for YouTube as well, right? So I don't know how many times, uh, for example, we've searched for things on YouTube, like where's an answer, right? You're coming here for an answer, but now people are going to TikTok. Now, keep coming back to this YouTube video, but. Uh, what was it? Christian and I were planning for our Q2 2022 retreat and we were in Colorado and Christian hadn't snowboarded for a while. So he was going to, he wouldn't normally go to YouTube, but he went to TikTok and looked up really quick form videos or short form videos on how to get better at snowboarding before he actually went out there. And previously he would have went to YouTube to do that, right? Why not watch a 15, 20 minute video on YouTube? Now, that being said, he did go to YouTube and watch that long form content, but the first place he went to, without even thinking about it, was to TikTok, so interesting. So what does that mean for you and why should you care, right? Like, why do you care about Christian going to look first on TikTok? Why do you care about TikTok being a vertical platform? Because more eyeballs equals more attention. And the best part, there are not that many people creating ads on TikTok which also means the cost for you to get in front of somebody is very, very low. I'm not gonna guess a number or you know tell you a number, but let's just say, for example, if it was $20 on Facebook to see like a thousand people or for you to get a thousand impressions on Facebook, it may be like five on TikTok. So it's very, very low. In a second, I'm gonna be sharing with you how you can leverage TikTok to drive cheap traffic and increase sales. Here's some rapid fire things you need to know about TikTok that I just want you to make sure that you share and because you were smart and went to grab something to take notes with, you're gonna write these down. So number one is that most of these ads are 23 to 34 seconds. Try to stay within that ratio. 16 by nine aspect ratio, meaning that it's vertical, right? It's shot like this, that's where you want. Spark ads, running ads from other accounts as well as your own, more about that later. And then lastly, make TikToks, not ads. That's literally their slogan is like, stop trying to create ads, just make TikToks. Just create really good TikToks and then, then they'll be used as ads. The ads not spending, right? So if you've ever set up a TikTok account or you've ever tried to run an ad on TikTok and it doesn't spend, likely it comes down to two things. Number one, budget, which is what everybody believes. That could be it, but it really comes down to your creative. So let's think about that as we're going through this. And then lastly, since it's done by 16 by nine, let's not have any of the black bars up at the top, right? I don't want you to repurpose that content. It's not gonna be a good experience. All right, before we cover number two, I just wanted to say howdy. My name is Aaron. I'm one of the co-founders here at Bit Branding, and we're an e-commerce growth agency that specializes in helping clothing stores grow and scale profitably online. Now, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of the latest strategies for clothing stores like you because we drop new content every single week. All right, so number two is the TikTok strategy. Because the cost to reach someone is so cheap on TikTok, you may think that all of your budget needs to be switched over to that platform, but that is not the case. I know I just mentioned how great their organic algorithm is, but their ads platform is very much still in the newborn stage. It's like trying to run an ad back in Facebook, right, in 2015. The cost was low to reach people, but didn't always convert as high because they didn't have as much data yet. Um, more so to get the content in front of the right people at the right time. So it, it gets in front of people, but it may not be the right people at the right time yet. So that is why 
This strategy is very important to focus on. I want you to start creating organic content for your for TikTok, right? So start there. At least one per day, and I know that's a lot, but if you wanna be successful, right, the more at-bats you have, the better, right? So at least one TikTok per day over the next 30 days. Then pick out your runaways, the ones that are in the top 10% of content. Now, I know that you may be doing content today that may sell out in 20 or 30 days, but what you can get from that, from that is if one type of content works and you did something for spring or summer and now it's fall or winter, use that same type of content or the same concept to run again for fall or for winter. The main point here is that you're working a muscle to start creating TikToks, again, not ads. Next, we're gonna start running ads behind these top performers and for the next 30 days, drive as much sales and traffic to the site as possible. So we got a 30 day window where we're kind of like leading up to it, 30 days of testing the ads and then we're moving into this last stage here, is start retargeting on Facebook and Instagram. This is going to drastically increase your conversion rate and total sales. So think about it this way if we had a picture here. We have tons of organic traffic because we've created now 30 TikToks in 30 days. We have online advertising going through TikTok to drive sales and traffic to the site. And then we're gonna retarget on Facebook and Instagram. So they're seeing the organic side of TikTok, they're seeing the paid side of TikTok, and then they're likely on Facebook and Instagram just statistically, and we're gonna remarket those people who visited your site to come back and make a purchase. So getting attention on TikTok is a no-brainer, and now adding retargeting for a more established platform makes you a double threat. Most people will say, okay, just switch over to TikTok and put 80, 90% of your budget over to TikTok and then forget about Facebook or Instagram. That's not how that works, right? Facebook and Instagram are still proven to work really, really well if you do it effectively. So now combining a little bit of your budget from TikTok to drive traffic, not necessarily conversions right away, and it can, I'm not saying that it cannot, drive traffic and conversions over time, it will get better. But then remarketing those people on Facebook and Instagram with different ads and getting them to come back. All right, so number three, what type of creative works? And when I say creative, the content that you put out on TikTok. This is likely completely different than what you're used to because what we suggest on Facebook and Instagram is not even close here. And if you have watched any of our other videos, right, you know that Facebook and Instagram is more branded, it's more like you can put your name out there. This is not the type of content we want for TikTok. That being said, the type of content that works well on TikTok will work on Instagram and Facebook, but the content that typically worked well for Facebook and Instagram does not work the same on TikTok. So do not try to share too much across so many other platforms because it will not work the exact same, right? So TikTok will work on TikTok and it will work on Facebook and Instagram. Facebook and Instagram ads specifically will not necessarily translate to something on TikTok. So, as I mentioned earlier, you wanna create TikToks, not ads. Hopefully I've said that like two or three times throughout this video to let that sink in. TikToks, not ads. This is crucial for success on the platform. Let me cover a few types of ads that will not work and that you should be avoiding from the very beginning. Number one, slideshows. Do not do slideshows on TikTok. Some of them work, but most of them do not. Just, just don't do that. It's not engaging, it's slow, it's not what TikTok is about. Number two, branded videos. Don't, like, if you've seen ads that have done really well, they're not branded, right? It doesn't say their name and logo all over the place. Do not do that. Videos with the black bars, we mentioned that earlier, right? If you have black bars on the top and the bottom, it's just not gonna do as well. I have seen some of them do okay, but statistically, it's not gonna do as well. It's it's not a really good experience when you're watching the video full screen and then all of a sudden it just stops or like it just stops your scroll because you like see these black bars. It's just not a really good experience. So do not do those types of ads, right? So let's get past all of these things and then you can start creating really good ads. Okay, so now let's walk through some ads that work really well. This is a really cool resource. Um, it is TikTok dot com forward slash business forward slash creative centers okay so what's cool about this the creative center is a really good spot for you to get inspiration and find ads that are already working so you can find hashtags that are working prom for example is going right now sunday fun day was trending heart stopper these are all great spots for you to check out content creators so these are the biggest creators out there of people who um, have 10 billion 2 billion 5 billion i would suggest to check out different things besides just these top creators. Um, TikToks, so let's let's look at a couple of TikToks that are doing well right now. So watch this TikTok on the web. 
Um, hey, I'm Reese, and thanks to partnering with Warner Brothers, I was able to- Okay, cool. So this is a, a really long video, so we're not gonna cover the whole thing, but as you can see here, storytelling with voiceover. So let's watch a little bit. To attend the London premiere of Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore. While normally I'm working these kinds of events, I was actually invited to this- Cool. So what can you be doing here to tell stories through your marketing for your clothing store? That's one good example. Let's move on to this other one here, so. All right, so lift up out of the pancake batter. We're going to go right back into the hot oil. All right, so this is kind of like lift a... It, and you'll start getting these cool little bubbles. Shock and awe kind of videos, right? So how can you use transitions or some kind of shock and awe for your videos that it could do well? Some good inspiration. Let's see here. Um, okay, very interesting. Um, again, more shock and awe here. Um, let's see here, explore now. What happens if I go here? So, Love You So looks to be the top song right now in the United States. Popularity over time, kind of trending. See videos of what people are doing with this one. All right, so what's interesting here is this person is jumping on trends, right? So the Outer Banks is getting ready to come back out. Um, she used an original song by Cody Newman, um, asking my boss for a day off the work day um, for Outer Banks. Interesting, can't wait to binge watch this whole series, showcasing the clothing. The Outer Banks, paradise on earth. So very simple, very clean. What's interesting about hers, hers, right, after just exploring a little bit is that she puts out a lot of content. Um, based in New Zealand, 1.3 million followers, and I would just say that it has to do with consistency. So let's just see here, this one has 51,000. What is she doing here? Very popular. Interesting. All right, so all these things could be a great inspiration for you. Like I said, um, make sure to go check this out. Um, figure out what's working for you. It's that creative center over on TikTok. The link will be down in the description as well. But before we jump into number four and get inside of TikTok Ads Manager to show you how to set up this campaign, I wanted to tell you about our free masterclass training for clothing stores. They'll walk you through the five pillars, five pillars that you must have in place for your online store to scale consistently and profitably, no matter what is going on in the world. If you want access to this free exclusive training for clothing stores, make sure you check out the link down in the description below. All right, so now that we're ready to jump into Ads Manager, I'll show you how to set up your campaign. Let's get over here. So, all right, so I am in a fairly new ad account right now. They've only have one campaign. I think they're spending around $25 a day about to increase this, but let's go ahead and start a campaign. What does this actually look like? So you're gonna click on a campaign up in the top right here. Now, that being said, if you do not have your pixel set up, if you do not have, um, the basics of TikTok setup, don't worry, we have another video you need to go check out to set up your pixel. You can check that one out right here, um, or it should pop up right here anyway. And then go check out that video and come back here to build a campaign or build a campaign and then add the pixel. I don't think it really matters too much, but you do need to get the pixel set up. So go ahead and click here, we're gonna click create. All right, so what do we want here? I'm focused on conversions. That's the only thing you're watching this for is we want conversions um, for our clothing store. Now you could send traffic if you wanted to, um, if you didn't necessarily have as much volume or as much sales that you were going after, but um, conversions is where we're focused on. So we're gonna click conversions. I'm gonna do, this is a top of funnel uh, conversions. You can label, label it however you'd like. Go ahead and look at this. So your choice with budget optimization, without budget budget optimization, right? So this is um, interesting, like if you do this, so campaign budget optimization. Um, what this means is, so automatically optimize your budget allocation. You will sometimes, uh, you will have some limitations on your bid strategy and optimization goal. Um, so this is CBO, the same kind of thing what we've done with Facebook ads is the, the distribution is different um, based off of what the platform chooses, uh, right? So there we go, like this example here, $20 gets you $15 here, $5 there, depending on what's going on. All right, so, and this is suggesting to us we need to spend $50 a day, we're gonna do 100, not 1,000, there we go. Okay, lowest cost, it's gonna stay there. Standard on our delivery type. Okay, so ad group, I'm gonna do, for example,
Okay. Promotion type, I'm gonna send them to the website. Make sure the pixel is there, optimization event. Complete payment is the same thing as purchase here. I really don't like that term, but they call it complete payment. Um, you also can create a TikTok instant page, right? So this is a generated pixel for your instant page, which will allow you to optimize for related conversion events. Basically like creating your own um, landing page inside of TikTok. All right, placements. Um, we do, I don't really want the newsfeed app or this, this other one, I want it all on TikTok. I don't want these other places. That's completely up to you. So we recommend keeping user comments to help you, um, your ads achieve more impressions. So if you are not going to respond to comments, then, then turn this off. Um, but if you are gonna respond to comments and you are ha having somebody watch the ads, then leave that on because that is going to do better for you long-term. All right, automated creative optimization. So create multiple, multiple combinations of creative assets, including videos and ad text. Ad delivery will be automated to show your audience the combinations that will maximize your results. So this is something we would eventually test out, right? So this says, once your ad group has been created, this setting cannot be changed. So we are going to test this out in the beginning or soon, and we'll do another video on this on the automated creative optimization. It's kind of like the dynamic creative tasks dynamic creative ads on Facebook. Um, but again, we're not really focused on that yet. We're just creating our first ad um, to test out. This for audience, this is more for your existing audiences. Um, you can actually create a new audience right here if you wanted to. We are not going to do that right now because that is a retargeting campaign. We'll talk about that another time. United States, that's where we're going after. We're going after females from 25 to 54. So highlight that. Languages, no limits. Um, to reach more relevant users, try these 15 inches. Um, again, I don't know if these are necessarily what we are going to do for recommended categories, but we can do here for boutique. If I can spell that correctly. All right. Online fashion boutique, boutique, um, clothing boutique. Those are all interesting. What we really want to get to is to at least that 400,000 or more. Um, too narrow, so I switch in targeting the expansion. We don't want that. Um, what TikTok needs is a much larger audience right now, especially as there's not like there's not as much of as targeting options. So we want to make sure that audience is pretty good size. So we're also looking for, let's for example, clothing. Let's see what other clothing options we have here. Yep, women's clothing. I think that I put there. Um, online clothing in here online shopping, online fashion shopping, online shopping app. All right, so there we go, we're, we're sorry, there we go. Uh, this is now 31 million, so, right? So it's, it's now a viable audience here. Um, we can run with this. The main thing here to do is that you need to do the research on your audience beforehand, right? So you can go in here and play around with what interests are actually working on inside of, inside of TikTok, but the main thing to do is um, is to research them. Now, you could add things in the vent in three, two, one. Now, in the future, you could add things where people have liked, commented, shared, watched till the end, which is why I said in the very beginning, we should be creating 30 TikToks over the next 30 days because this is a really good audience to be going after. Um, this is also saying, or people who've carried out the following interactions with your videos, or people who have carried out the following interactions with videos. So watch to the end, liked, commented, and shared. Search for one category. Let's do here shopping. All right, let's see here. I would just say outfits, other fashion. I think that's about it for here. So if they've watched anything that's other other things that are related to the fashion side of things. It's so like the time period that includes actions from 15 days. I really would not go fat farther away than um, from that. The closer you are to the seven days, probably the better. But for this, let's expand it just a little bit and see how it does. Um, other be behaviors. Um, or people who've carried out the following interaction with creators, followed, viewed profile. Um, if you know of a profile that you can actually go after, then you could do that here. Not gonna choose one in this section. All right, and then add behavior inter hashtags. This is something where you could go and do your actual research. So again, you could do, whoops, clothing, 
All right, so ad behavior hashtag interactions. So target users based on how they've interacted with hashtags on TikTok, you would have to go do hashtag research on the t um, the title or the tag that you were looking at. Again, don't just pick random ones here. I wouldn't just type in clothing. I would wanna find ones that are actually trending. So find a trending video and then use that hashtag and then go and put that inside of here if you wanted to. Now, target expansion, probably not gonna turn that off right now. Uh, we're not worried about device. Um, preferably it would be iOS, but again, um, we'll just leave that wide open on whether it's Android or iOS. And then targeting expansion, enabling target expansion will increase your chances of reaching broader audience and achieving more conversions. This is something we will test out, right? So the same thing we run with like Facebook and Instagram, is this going to work on TikTok? Don't know yet. But right now, let's just leave it turned off. We're gonna reach a decent amount of people and, and test it. All right, optimization goal. Ad groups under the current campaign must all have the same optimization goal and cannot select a second goal. Cool, so our goal is second, it, our, is lowest bid strategy. Billing is done by the CPM, which is cost per thousand impressions. Go ahead and click next. All right, so, and you can do so many different types of videos here, but we're just gonna choose a single video. Use TikTok account to deliver Spark ads. So Spark ads, we've talked about previously, um, they'll probably hold another video on that. Spark ads are when you can get somebody like, um, like me or somebody else who can do an ad on their profile and then you can share it over on yours. So you could actually run ads on other people's profiles and spend money behind it, which is really, really powerful. Um, something we have not seen before. So we'll probably do a whole video on how to set up your own Spark ads from TikTok. All right, so right here, creative ad name, we'll just call it um, TikTok dance. You can do whatever you want, right? So just label it however you would like to make sure that it's relevant there. Um, Right, from the library, let's see here. Go ahead and select a video, hit confirm. All right, this has already been used and it's done well, right? So 71,000 uh, people have engaged with this. And then you could add text if you wanted to. Um, probably not do much. Do shop now. Probably not gonna do anything here. I wanted to make, make it look just more like a TikTok. Um, you could actually do a collection ad. We'll do another video on that as well. This is just getting a single ad out there. All right, send it to the website. Dynamic, so the call to action. If you select an auto-optimized call to action, will automatically select the call to action text uh, for your ads based on your industry and the objective of your ads. Different call to action. Um, right now, we'll just do standard, shop now. I would do the standard right now, unless you had something specific. Dynamic, don't really know if that works too well yet. Um, URLs. So a URL is a landing page or a website you want to promote, right? So we could actually put in here and it would pull up and actually say something, but we don't need to do that. It's gonna already pull it up. All right, tracking the pixel is on, impression tracking for URL, third parity. Um, this would be something like if you were using Triple Whale, um, we'll talk about it a little bit later, you could actually do that and put this inside of there as well so you could track outside of it or if you had Google Tag Manager. All right, so that is it. Again, the text, um, you don't really need to put anything here. Oh, there we go. Uh, because we already have text on screen. So this looks like a TikTok ad. Um, there we go. And if we were going to launch this, we would hit submit and that is everything that we need. Now, I realize that this is the very basics of the ad. We are going to be doing more TikTok style videos, whether it's Spark ads, collection videos, you're targeting, all those things are gonna be coming up. But this is to get you started on running your first TikTok ad. And if you guys have any questions about that, please drop them down below. I know there's probably a lot of information you are wondering about. All right, y'all, I wanted to share with you a tool that is helping send more data back to TikTok and Shopify. So we're using a tool called Triple Well that is for all of our clients, group coaching members, and for people like you who are in that clothing store space. And this powerhouse allows you to see the lifetime value of a 30, 60, and 90 days. And what I'm most excited about this is how you can actually guess or how you can actually predict 
when somebody is going to make a second purchase for you so that you can actually have a targeted message to them at the right time. So whether it's email or SMS or an ad, you can actually send it to the right person at the right time to generate more sales, giving more data back to the platforms that you need and having everything in one specific spot. So if you need that for your business, you're tired of all the iOS issues and all the problems that they have, make sure you check out the link down in the description below on more about Triple Well. All right, so I'm wishing you all nothing but success right now. And if you like this video and you're ready to learn more, then check out this one next. All right, that's all we have for this video. We will see you guys in the next one.